Beyond Limits. It's your girls Christine and Vanessa hooking you up with what you need to know to level up. Hey Christine, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Do you have a mentor? Yeah, I have a few. Do you? I do as well. Of course nice. I do. <laughs> yeah, it's so important. The reason why is Mentorship is one of those things where it adds value to your life. Having a mentor is important in the success that we call life. Notice how we didn't say business life, but we said life in general. We believe that having a mentor in all areas of your life, such as your health, your relationship with your significant other, and your kids, it's critical to the success and everything that you do. Menti-mentor relationships can take two forms, an informal one and a formal one. So when relationships naturally form, and there is a shared interest, and the mentor naturally gives advice, to the mentee, that's more of an informal relationship. A formal mentorship lives within a structured environment where a mentee would sign up and that program matches them with a mentor based on their needs. In a formal relationship, there's usually a certain end date unless the individuals want to continue further. No matter what form of the mentorship relationship it takes, whether it's informal or formal, in order for the two parties to mutually benefit, it must be effective. How? Number one. Having an end goal. There must be a reason why the mentee and the mentor is getting together. Does the mentee have an issue that they want to resolve and need some outside advice? Or is there some other area in their life they'd like to level up and elevate and their mentor is there to help them? So having an end goal is critical in order for the relationship to work. Number, Number two. two, knowing mentorship styles. There's different forms of styles. Let's take a minute to reflect on what type of style you prefer. When you get advice, do you prefer getting it directly and being able to say, yep, yes or no, that is my answer? Or do you prefer receiving suggestions and then you having the final say? How about your leadership style? When you mentor someone, do you like to give them advice and be able to confirm their ideas and their suggestions? Or are you the type of individual that will kind of share your experiences and weigh out the pros and cons and let the mentee be able to decide for themselves. The value of mentorship is this. We live in a world where information is at our fingertips. And more than ever, there's people out there who have been there, done that, and they're accessible to us to share their ideas. If you're going through a certain situation, there's most likely another person out there who's been through the same journey who can help you and give you tips and tricks on what to do and what not to do so you don't make those mistakes again. We also believe in giving back. So if you're in a position where you see someone that's less experienced than you and you know that you've been through that experience and you can add value and give them advice, please be a mentor. It's so rewarding and such fulfilling and you may even learn something more about yourself as well. So we hope you learned something new today. Leave us a comment below if you have a mentor or a mentor to someone. And if you're somebody who's looking for a mentor for yourself, we highly suggest that you network with your local businesses as well as your local universities. Um, they will be able to help you find a mentor. Or better yet, if there's somebody that you admire, that you work with, or that you've known for a long time, and they're living the life and values that resonate with you, why don't you ask them to be your mentor? They'd probably be very flattered and will have so much advice for you. We also want to hear from you about future topics that you'd like to see in our channel. We upload videos every Wednesday, to, so hit that subscribe button so you never miss out. <laughs> that was cool. Never miss <laughs> out. With that, we, we out. out. We out.